how we love to order things online and now that we're all stuck inside online e-commerce is booming on today's video i'm going to show you some really amazing website that makes shopping super fun and interesting and not so boring let's rock and roll hey everybody what is up so we're all stuck at home and the only way to get stuff is to order them online. So we're spending a lot of time on e-commerce website. And to be honest, most of them are just boring and suck. And we always see the same grid and we click things and we add them to cart and it's kind of a boring experience. However, some brands are taking things to the next level and creating really interesting web designs and experiences to sell their products and tell stories. And I wanna show a few of them that I like. Let's dive into the first one. So the first one is called Moon. And when you first land on this, I mean, you don't really know what that thing is, but then you start scrolling. So there's a really nice scrolling experience, mobile, most revolutionary lighting device. And then still you have no clue what's going on. Oh, and now you start to understand this kind of a, a light that they put on, you know, on your mobile thing so that you can take nicer selfies and you can adjust it. And uh, yeah, and it's really the thing about this, I feel like it, they kind of created an Apple-y um, kind of experience here where they show the product, I guess, in a, in an, again, in an Apple-y way with really nice kind of a scroll thing that really tells the story of how this fits, how this works, why this looks so cool. And uh, I really, really like how this turns out. See, you can use it on every device. So I think they did a really, really cool scrolling experience. You also have this thing here that shows you where you are on the story. I really, really like this. Let's see what happens when you go into the buy. So really nice transition and you're moving into the purchase page, which is at this point, this one looks pretty standard. Now, some of the things that you you people have asked on the previous episode was what, what platform is this built on and how does this look on mobile? So let's start with the mobile here. I'm gonna go into inspect and then I'm just gonna click here to see this on mobile. And actually this website, let me start from the beginning. When I'm scrolling, everything was adjusted, I think pretty well done and you know, it fits, the messaging fits, the kind of the animation looks pretty good. They've managed to compress the whole story. Yeah, still looks pretty fantastic on mobile. So yeah, this is a good responsiveness kind of adjustment. In terms of what platform this was built on, so I've downloaded this Chrome extension, which called Web App Analyzer, I guess shows you what analytics you're using, what kind of fonts, and this was built with Webflow. So congrats, love it that you've used Webflow. Not sure if they used Webflow just for the front or also for the checkout experience, but this looks pretty fantastic. All right, next website is this website. I'm just gonna load, reload this because I really love this kind of animation. I don't know if it's 3D, I guess it's 3D. But this is really a great experience. They're selling stuff that's made from plum, so juices and I guess that kind of stuff. But what I really love about this is that just with the design and the art direction that you have here in the typography, they've made something which I think is pretty ordinary, I guess, you know, tea from plum and juice from plum and made this so kind of like bespoke that you can charge like $50 for a juice or something like this. Here they are, they're char charging $45 for a pack. All right, so it's 10 bottles, but still. Um, I think this is really a great experience to show that, you know, by having an amazing design and amazing web experience, you can really, really um, up your price. So let me add this. So now it's been added. So let's see how the checkout looks like. Yeah. All right, so checkout's pretty pretty regular, I would say. Let's see what happens when I click the learn more. Okay, so this pop-up is a little bit annoying. Nice page transition. Again, really love the layout here, really like the typography and the whole interaction. I think they've made a really great way of turning this into kind of a premium experience. 
Um, in terms of platform here, so I don't see anything here. Just see that they've built this with Node.js, but it doesn't look like they're sitting on some kind of a platform. Let's go here and let's see how they've adjusted it for mobile. Ooh, somebody left us a message here. Site by Nightjar Co. All right, nice work, Nightjar. And uh, does it still look amazing on mobile? Yeah, looks pretty good on mobile. Yeah, so I like the mobile responsiveness of this. Transition works. Not sure, maybe I would switch them around on mobile or not make the image so big before I... And maybe I would also make the product go on top of the image. In this case, it's weird that it's going below. But overall, good work, Nightjar or whoever designed this. Really great work. All right, the third website is this website of Job Studio and or Studio Job. And this is basically a gallery that sends that sells all kinds of weird stuff and uh, art thingies. But what I really like about this is this doesn't look like anything and it's really funny. You know, you see your your hand with the with the middle finger that you can choose and you have like fancy kind of like sliders here to change the price or what you're looking for and you click it with the middle finger. And I think that's really, really funny. Um, you can say maybe it's a little bit overwhelming, but I think like, come on, we're so bored with the normal kind of like e-commerce website that having something like this is really, really funny. It really shows, you know, it's really cool, the breadcrumbs that they've created here. So I think this is, I don't know if this is kind of what they would call brutalist design where it's, you know, in your face, kind of like in the sense of typographies and outlines. But I think this is a really, really cool way to show your personality. Um, let me see what platform this was built on. So also nothing, I don't know, Express, I don't know any of the framework that they're using for this, so they're not using some kind of a platform. Let's go and check this out on mobile. Oh, somebody left a message here as well, made by building Amsterdam. All right, good work. Oh, and you can even apply to jobs there so they know people are checking out their code. Um, this one on mobile, also adjusted pretty nicely, I think. Even the filters seem to be working well on mobile. So yeah, good job adjusting this. Very nice. All right, and on to the last website. So the last website is Fru Fruit or Fru IT. Um, I guess it's an Italian shoe brand. And what I liked about this, this is kind of the, like almost the most ordinary e-commerce, but I really like that they use this kind of something that feels like story, Instagram stories right here um, to choose categories instead of just, you know, the normal grid. And they do use the normal grid here, but I really like the way that they took inspiration from Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, to create their navigation, which obviously also would work well on mobile. Um, let me switch to mobile and see how that looks like. If we go back here, yeah, so this really resembles Instagram. And I like this just because, you know, we're all living in stories right now. Um, I do feel like it's a pretty cool uh, way to take inspiration from one place and use it in another place. The rest of the website, I would say, is pretty ordinary. I actually liked that they're showing you what sizes are available before you have to click in, which is nice because a lot of times you would look at something and then, ah, damn, they don't have it my size. I also like the interaction that they've created here, like they're falling one on top of the other. It's really nice kind of small gesture that I really liked on this website. And this website was built on WooCommerce. So this is a WordPress website. Um, yeah, it's set on WordPress and using WooCommerce, which is the plugin for e-commerce for Webflow, for <laughs> WordPress. All right, I hope they got you a little bit of inspiration about new ideas that you can use for e-commerce website or for web design in general and how to use design to tell a story or create 
a more premium or personal experience within your website. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the website and what other website would you like us to cover on this weekly inspiration video segment. If you haven't seen the rest of them, you can click on the next thumbnail to watch the previous five, four list best of that we did. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.